Hi and welcome to the Landworks CAD tutorial. My name is Sidra and I'm going to show you how to produce and customize your own plants using the tools in Landworks CAD. So to start making a new plant, I'm going to insert a circle as the base of the plant. But before initiating anything, we need to change the layer number to 600 and the color to 7 as this is the standard layer and color used for all Landworks CAD plant symbols. These plant symbols are easy to manipulate if we keep them on the same layer. So, I'm going to change the layer by clicking on the change general properties here. And I'm going to type in 600 here. I'm going to click on 600. And I will change the color from the tab here, color tab, and click on 7. Now I'm going to press OK. Now, I need to insert a circle as the base of my plant, so I'll click on the circle option and click circle of set value. I'm going to insert a circle of 500 millimeters radius and I'm going to insert it on the absolute zero. So it means that the values of x, y and z coordinates should be equal to zero. So I'll press enter and I'm going to right click to come out of this option. Now I'm going to zoom it in a little bit. So I need to change the circle into a curve. So I'll just click on it and go to this curves option I'm going to go to convert to curves option and then I'm going to type here 25 the number of control points I'm going to delete the existing entity so that the circle underneath is deleted and then press OK now if I check it see so this circle has been converted into a curve so I can just move these control points of the curve I can just move the alternate points here and there just to give this circle this curve actually a rough look a handmade look you can say as I'm using it as the base of the plant right so this is my curve I want to make copies of this curve so I'm going to click on it I'm just going to make sure I don't click on any of the control points I will press on the control key on the keyboard and I'm going to make a copy of this one like that right again I'm going to press the control key on the keyboard and click and drag it so I will just move it a little bit here and this one a little bit over there right so this can be the boundary of my plant now let's say that I want to insert a few fruits in the plant so I will click on this circle and then click on circle of set value again I'm going to give it a, a radius of 50 millimeters and then press OK. Now I'm going to make a bunch of fruits here. So one, two, three here, maybe some here and some here, right? And just right click to come out of that option. Now I need to insert a plane in these fruits to give them a red color. So just checking the options of the plane you can go to options and then click on plane to see what kind of plane do you have I don't want that kind of plane so I'll select solid fill and I can change the color of the plane later on as well I'll click OK another way to see the plane would be just click here and just right click on any of these three options see now I'm going to select everything which I can do by just dragging from left to right or I can drag anywhere outside from right to left and everything in my drawing will be selected so I'll press on control key on the keyboard and just click these three lines so that only the fruits are selected I'm going to click on plane by boundary option and see the plane has been inserted so to change the color of the plane I'm going to double click on the plane and then I'll go to this color option and I'm going to select this red from here okay now I'm going to insert a plane inside the plant. In Landworks CAD, all the planes in the plants are placed on layer number 601 and they use the color 254. So to change that, I'm going to go to this change general properties and I'm going to type here 601. Select 601 from here and I can see the color tab from here and select color number 254 from here and click OK right and now another thing that we need to change in the plane would be the transparency because we need to see the entities which lie underneath the plant as well so we will go to the options and then we will click on plane and from here 
I'm going to change the transparency to 0 0.50, let's say, or maybe 0 0.20, and then I'm going to click OK. Now, one more thing that we forgot to change before, but we can do it now, is to change the layer of the plane on the fruit. So I will just double click on it. I'm going to click on this layer option, and from here, I'm going to select 601, right? Because all the planes of the plants in Landworks CAD are supposed to be on the layer 601 and I'm going to click OK. Now I'm going to press OK as well. I can also change the layer by going to Change General Properties, right? Now uh, there are two options to insert the plane. I can insert the plane by using Plane by Vertex Point. So if I click here and let's say that I want to insert the plane using the Plane by Vertex Points, I'm going to press the control key on the keyboard and start inserting the plane just to give it a handmade look I'm pressing the control key so that I don't snap on any of the other entities accidentally so as you can see the plane is inserted and now if I click on the plane I can actually insert another point on the plane or delete a point or I, I can move a point on the plane so let's say if I want to move this point here see I can actually move the points on the plane so this is one way of inserting the plane if I right click outside and click on the plane again and click on backspace or delete I can actually delete the plane and insert it using the other method which would be just click on one of the curves and then click this so the plane is inserted now my plant is complete so I'm going to go to file and save this plant in my plants database so I'll just make sure that I'm in users public landworks CAD version 7 folder I'm going to double click on the components folder and I'm going to go to plants and give this plant a name let's say my plant tutorial Right? So I'm going to give it a descriptive name and click on save. So this is how you create your own plant in Landworks CAD. Now let's say I want to move one of the fruits from here. If I move it, then all the fruits are going to move with it. Right? So if I only select this fruit and I go to transform command and I go to the stretch option from here, I can actually move one of my fruits from one point to the other. So I'll click on two points. I'll just make sure that current selection is selected and press OK and let's say I try to move it from here up till here see I can move it very easily so this is how you can make changes in your plant I hope you liked my video if you did just hit the like button and please feel free to share it and to comment as well thank you